All right, fellas, don't judge me. I know you might be asking yourself, why is the sign looking like Dwayne The Rock Johnson in that new movie, Jungle Cruise? I'm gonna tell you just after this. Today's episode was brought to you by my new book, Why Style Matters, The Mindset of Dressing Well and How It Impacts Your Life. To get your autographed copy, click the link in the description. On today's video, I'm going to share with you why Steve Harvey went viral just last week. Let's go. What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Assign the Style Jumper, your guide to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. The reason why I put this together, fellas, is I want all of us to realize that we can look spectacular in monochromatic looks, meaning you can wear multiple shades of the same color and look amazing. And one of the most iconic men in today's society wore something that was monochromatic and in my eyes absolutely spectacular and the internet went wild but not for the right reasons from my perspective but i'll let you beat each other back you don't even know where the hell i got that green i look like damn money boy look like a thousand dollar bill yeah i had to make this little video let y'all know steve harvey look good look how good i look i'm looking up in the sky because i'm looking at my money grow the hell y'all do fellas let's travel back in time we know steve harvey from the apollo kings of comedy deaf comedy jam the steve harvey show all the things that he hosts the radio show and of course family feud but during those years those multiple decades his style has changed so there was this big deal last week where he was wearing all green and people didn't understand, and a lot of guys, in my opinion, who don't have great style were making comments. To me, Uncle Steve known for his confidence, regardless of his age, bald head, iconic mustache, crazy laughs, and just his overall persona. And remember, he had a category of his own, a Steve Harvey suit. So when we look at things, we want to think about how can someone evolve in the way that they look and evolve in their style and that's what we all have to think about so these guys who are talking trash maybe you're not old enough or live long enough to have that opportunity to evolve and change your style over time that was back in the day kings of comedy yeah i was the king of urban wear that's that was really big where i was from but what happened was uh, i married my wife and she told me she didn't like those suits. Right. And I was stunned, because <laughs> I was going, why? Why don't you like these suits? She said, because I don't want to be married to a pimp anymore. <laughs> There's two people that made a huge impact in Uncle Steve's style over the years. And most recently, his wife, Miss Marjorie, and his stylist, Ellie Caramo. Ellie has worked with clients like Samuel L. Jackson, and Tyler Perry, just to name a few, particularly his wife, encouraged him to recruit and hire Ellie on. It just really changed everything for him, and I think. And it actually made him a style icon again. Because when he was wearing those Steve Harvey suits, don't get it twisted, guys, everyone was wearing those big suits. And Steve is known for his color and his bodaciousness, and that was a part of the whole thing. So to get back to this outfit, Steve actually flew to Paris to surprise his wife for her 57th birthday, and they took all these amazing pictures. To me, it was a romantic move. They look amazing together, so elegant, so sophisticated. So in my eyes, hey man, Steve hit a home run, triple double, slam dunk, three shot from the half court. Everything you want to think of, he did it in those moments. And what we don't really realize is that Steve is traveling international. So he's not just going to have an American perspective of how he dresses. And with the influence, again, of his wife and his stylist, Ellie, there's no telling what he's going to wear, but it's all going to blend perfectly. You and I had to make that adjustment in what we visualize or assume that Uncle Steve should look like and dress like. To me, 
He's the best dressed guy in his age category. Like, I know I'm getting older. You know, I'm 64 years old. Fly as hell, though. Swa, super you know what I'm saying? Because you looking, get your camera and zoom in. <laughs> I'm fly. No, I don't let nobody take that from me. Man, you can say what you want to say. I'm 64 and still relevant. At the end of the day, if you're not playing triple-double in your life, on all aspects of your life, and you don't have great style, I think you need to be quiet. Don't say nothing. Just like mama said, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say it at all. And I'll leave it at that. If you want to see what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, check out my Instagram. There you'll find a ton of looks or maybe some inspiration. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content, fellas, share with your stylish friends. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. And fellas, look, we all have the opportunity to evolve. I would say to you, think about it. God willing, you'll live long enough and don't hesitate to change. It's okay to change and it's okay to take great advice. And I'll see you on the next one.